We are into another new hour of insensitivity training for a politically correct world. Thank you for being here. I'm Woody. That's Ravy. Hello. There's uh, Greg Gorey. Good morning, Woody. Menace missing. He's is getting he, really bad at this lately. Diarrhea? Or uh, he's running and oh, there doing he is. something else. What are you this doing, morning. man? This is the second time. I I look over there and you're uh, and you're not there. And he's many running days. back and totally forth. Off. Yeah. All right. Eh. Menace. There's Seabass. There's Always Sammy. Here. <laughs> Bort, Caroline, Morgan's here. Vaughn's here. Phones are open. 877-44. Woody. You can uh, hit us up with a text over to 22987. So I have I've added a uh, a job to the list of jobs that I would never want. Oh, okay. And that would be a therapist. Ooh. Therapist or shrink? I'm watching um, Shrinking oh, on yeah. Apple TV Plus with um, it's very good. What's his name from How I Met Your Mother and uh, Harrison Ford? Jason Jason Siegel. Siegel. Yeah, I yeah. can never remember that guy. Jason name. Siegel and Harrison Ford. It's good. I like it. Yeah, I do too. Yeah. I thought what it are got, you crapping on it? Randy? I thought it got better as it went along. Like I didn't. At first, I thought, ah, oh, this is okay. I like the first episode. I thought the writing, the pacing of it was really good. I, I just don't like Jason Segel. I wish they really? had somebody else in the league. Wow. Yeah. He doesn't, he doesn't bother me. I don't have a problem with him. But, uh, yeah, I thought the show was pretty good. But, uh, like, there's a – and this is not going to ruin anything. The guy – Jason Segel's a therapist, and um, the guy who's, like, one of the main dudes at the uh, at the therapy, mm-hmm. it's a – you know, like a, like a law firm. It's uh-huh. like a firm. It's a but clinic. It's a clinic, mm-hmm. yeah. So there's multiple therapists or whatever all working in this office space, and Harrison Ford is one of them. But he's the the guy's been there a long time, whatever kind of the fatherly figure of uh mm-hmm. of uh like he's the work Jason dad. Jason Siegel's mentor. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like the work dad mentor. Right, yeah. yeah. So um and Jason Siegel's going through some stuff. His wife died, you know, so he's trying to get his life. His life's a mess. His daughter kind of hates him, and there's just a lot going on there. But anyway, in the beginning of the show, they're showing like, you know, these people are coming in like so I had a problem again with blah 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 blah. blah. I'm thinking, oh, can you imagine listening to that? Having to all listen day. to that, listening to people's stupid petty problems. I understand, <laughs> like the, I mean, you would want something more of substance. You would want something like really good and you know something you could dig into. Something juicy. Something juicy, <laughs> not like uh like high school like a bicker fight between you know mm-hmm. yeah. a couple people. But you gotta imagine that's a lot of what these people go in there with this nonsense stuff. Which is, I guess, nonsense to them. Not to them. Yeah. But when you're sitting there going, oh, good Lord. And then there's another session that comes in. It's another one of these things. You got to hear these people out all day. That's got to suck. It's a tough job. That's got to suck. And then That would be so exhausting. And then you're dealing with people who have, like, legit trauma. Mm-hmm. Which like, would also be so sad. Abuse or, you know, sure. whatever that they've uh, that they've endured. And so you, you, you're hearing about all that. That's got to suck. Right. Um, but, yeah, the, the show is good. Shrinking. But that's on the list of jobs I would never want. Add it to like mover. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, the geriatric yeah, boy, nurse. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> right. Oh boy. Oh yeah. The thing that I have a hard time with therapy is not that I'm currently going, but kind of like I said about psychics, even if everything they said was true, like, oh, I think you had a mother named Linda. Oh my god, I did. Like, okay, <laughs> cool. I already knew that. With therapy, I think a lot of times they go backwards. Let's see why you feel this way. Yeah, okay, they do. Okay, great. Let's say they figure that out. Oh, that's because in fourth grade, Ravy pulled your hair. Okay, cool. What do I do with that now? You well, know what I, I mean? Think it's to like, instead of root- working backwards, let's work now and forward. Well, the idea is that would be the band aid of the situation as opposed to treating the root of the issue, right? And as opposing, you know, it's band aid sweeping under the rug. Yeah. You know, like coping things are one thing, but like understanding where it comes from is a completely different thing. I have actually uh. kind of fell, fallen out of love with the therapy thing. Really? Um, yeah. I think yeah. it's a lot of people just not honest with themselves, to be completely honest. It's just like, why do I act this way? Well, you act this way because, I don't know, you're a dick, and and you're a dick because you're angry about something. Well, or, that's kind of what you this, know? this whole show, like this, yeah. this shrinking show, Jason Siegel, like uh, all of a sudden he has like this kind of realization if he's just honest with these people, he's like, leave your husband today. Oh. Yeah. And if you don't, they I'm <laughs> dropping you as a patient. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> yeah. And it, and he's finding he's, he's he's having like way more success with these patients breaking through and and whatever and that's the kind of stuff that I want but you know I mind effed myself uh-huh. here more recently I, and I'm still a I'm still a supporter and a big proponent of you know I think mm-hmm. everybody could benefit from therapy not a necessarily self examination yeah not necessarily like yeah. a shrink or whatever mm-hmm. but like uh, I mind effed myself because I'm thinking like these people don't care like this is, this is totally a job like. Once you're not making that appointment anymore, they're never thinking like, gee, I wonder how Greg's doing. <laughs> you know, right. they're never going to follow up with right. you. Like, you come in yeah. working with them for a decade. They're never going to follow up with you and go like, 
how are things going? Like you did some great work together and you had all these breakthroughs and you're in a really good place in your life. And then later they they don't care. And so that yeah. that's like, well, why am I wasting my time with people? They don't even care. <laughs> well, yeah, I mind well, if myself. you had breakthroughs with them, then they <laughs> did when, care. When I, you I didn't are, have, I didn't have a bre- like this last person that I had, you know, there was no breakthrough. Oh, okay. didn't work out. Yeah, yeah, but like the one, the one chick that I had, the therapist that I had that I liked a lot, she ended up moving. She abandoned you. Yeah, yeah. She moved to a different city to be closer to her daughter, who oh, just had a she. baby. Yeah. And, no, it's it's great. But I, you know, there's a there is a there's a difference. And the other thing, like, I don't understand why people believe. And I'm completely open book, honest uh, with uh, most things in my life in, in general. But when I go to like a therapist or whatever, it is absolutely one thousand percent. Otherwise, why are you going there? Right. So many people go to the doctor and they lie to the doctor. Yeah. Why? Why? You're wasting then why your time. Are you even yeah. there? <laughs> you are so wasting your time. Like the, you're not this, giving them. All if you're the worried about what yeah. this person's going to think of you or how they're going to judge you based on the th- something that you did or you thought or you experienced or whatever, and you're there trying to get help with whatever the issue is, mm-hmm. why are you even there? Don't book the appointment. Right. Yeah. You're it's wasting such a waste everybody's of time. time. Greg, tell the story about how you got busted. <laughs> Yeah, I, used I always to think lie. about that. Uh-huh. I used to lie to my doctor because, you know, <laughs> I have a desperate need for people to like me. <laughs> <laughs> and he said to me, what kind of exercise do you get? Oh, I walk the dog. Hey, do you take your phone with you when you walk the dog? Sure do. And then he said, give me your phone. I'm like, what does this have to do with anything? He pulls up the health app, looked at my steps. He's like, I don't see you walking the dog that yeah. much lately. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the tracks that? Yeah, I mean, they, you know, <laughs> they can't help you. That's funny. Yeah, that's they the old me. Now I'll go in and tell them everything. Yeah. Uh, question for Woody on the text. What's the website that you recommended to find a therapist? Oh, that's the other thing. It's a pain in the ass to find somebody. Mm-hmm. Um, psychologytoday.com is the website that, by the way, that was a suggestion from a listener. That was very helpful to me. Mm-hmm. I found a couple of therapists. One was great. The other one was, eh, it was okay. okay. Nice guy. Just I just, you know. Wasn't getting anywhere. Wasn't and then he stood me up on an appointment. Oh, I'm like, oh, F oh. you. Oh, that's right. I'll let you know if I'm ever going to reschedule another appointment. And I haven't. I don't know. I feel like therapy just doesn't get you anywhere for most people outside of like actual. Yeah. Like, I don't like for real trauma. Right. Yeah. yeah. Outside of like the actual super serious cases. Because people go for 10, 15 years and they're the same person. Oh, dude, I know. And famously on the radio. Famously, Howard Stern's been gone for what, 25 years? And it, right. it, to me, it makes him worse. Yeah. Well, it makes you more mm-hmm. like. Overly psychoanalytic when you shouldn't be. Dude, that guy, he goes like three times a week. Yeah. And what did they get him? Right. Three and, times and, a week? That's yeah. way too much. Three times a week. Well, not, not, I'm sure according to his therapist, it's yeah, just the it's right amount. Yeah, yeah. yeah, three like, times a week for how 20, 30 years, wow. whatever it's been. Wow. Yeah, and that's and that's uh and that's the other part. It's just I I, I think uh after a while, I was like, what are you talking about after yeah, a while? Right. That's what I'm saying. I read somewhere, and I don't know if this is true, that you're, that therapy is not supposed to be a long-term thing. You're not supposed to do it all the time. You're supposed to be there for whatever kind of thing you need for, you know, however many months or a year or whatever, and then stop. And if you need to go back for something, you go back again. But that it shouldn't be just like a continuous, yeah. lifelong thing. Yeah, I mean, again, I, I see the benefit of having like a third party unbiased, although they're probably biased because you're paying, you know, um, yeah. But, like, if you find, like, somebody really good that you jive with, it's good to have a person that you can just go in there and you don't work with them, you're not in a relationship with them, you know, you have no outside right. life with this person, and you right. can just kind of, like, unload on them on different things. You just get a perspective that your friends aren't going to tell you or that your coworker, your boss is certainly not going to appreciate or, you know, uh, something, something like something along those lines. I could see where that would be good, and so maybe you go once a month. Right. Even if there's not like something really pressing, you go like just once a month as like a, mm-hmm. you know, that makes sense. This is the way you go get your oil mm-hmm. changed or something. It's just a maintenance thing, you know, something like that. But yeah, I mean, I thought the um, I thought the website was really helpful because you could put in just your your zip code and mm-hmm. uh, it'll give you people around your area profiles on them, contact, email, like you know, you could look into it. Uh, PsychologyToday.com. I mean, I should definitely get back in there for sure. I've been. Sp- Spiraling lately over what? Yeah, oh, really? all I'll just it's just. Uh, I mean, I, we I'm, always ask you, and then you said everything. We'll be your like, I'm a yeah. physical mess. I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a mental mess. <laughs> and where do you think that comes from? Oh, yeah. dude, I, God How does knows. That's the root. Feel? Yeah, no, but God, but I, I should definitely get back into. It, but I did I did mind deaf myself on that whole thing. Mm. Like, they don't care. They don't care. Yeah. Why am I going? But the, I, you know what? I think part of that was you know if I gotta go back, 
I think it's because the guy stood me up on that appointment. Yeah. I'm like, I'm making this right. effort is to that get why here you're on this day, on this time, get out of work at a certain time so I can make this appointment and I'm there. And then he's not there. I'm like, they don't care. Well, let me ask you. But <laughs> I see, it goes back to what I'm saying. Like, I, th I think you truly do know the root of it. Uh, I know part parts here and there, but yeah, yeah not a complete like because you know Greg even said in his uh, uh, his ten to twelve minute variety hour thing. <laughs> yeah, 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 like um, you're just grumpy. Yeah, but I mean, you know, there are times. Uh -huh. yeah, yes, there are times, and it doesn't on paper doesn't make Time, any sense. Our times? I, like my 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 life is great. I got a, I got the job I've always wanted. Mm -hmm. You know, I I got a great family, great coworkers. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, you know, I do. I gen coworkers. I, yeah. I I genuinely love all of you. I really do, mm -hmm. and I love this job and everything else. I, I like everything should be great, but for whatever reason, man, and I think it's just all me. It's a, it has nothing to do with you guys. It has nothing to do with anything else. It's just it's just all me, and it has nothing to do with money. Yeah. It has nothing to do with anything else. So like all that other stuff could be so great, mm -hmm. it has nothing to do with it. But a man, I wish I could figure that out. So at the but I of, can't. At the end of a therapy session, does uh, she give you something like okay? For the rest of today, sometimes like work on this. Do yeah. this and report back to me with this. Sometimes, such as like say hello to your wife or yeah. When you notice, hey, when you start to notice that you uh, you're you're starting to spiral a little bit. What were you doing? You know, it's kind of like if you yeah. like, like how like, you try to figure out like a food allergy. Piece well, it together. What was your last? What was your last meal? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, what did you eat in the last twenty four hours? Keep a food log. They'll they'll say like you know write down or keep a note of like what you were doing or whatever. I just noticed that I started like, dude, I was housing M and M's. Nice, right? Housing them to the I point where like, I felt like, yeah, God. <laughs> and it wasn't a ton, but just a little yeah. bit of M and M's will uh -huh, make me start uh -huh. feeling sick. But I I didn't even realize that I was eating them. And it's because I was like obsessing about something with work, and I was it, it, it was something that it was like upsetting me, right? Mm. That I put on myself, and before I knew it, I was eating these stupid M and M's. Dumb, it's so dumb. And then I get mad at myself, you idiot, blah 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 blah. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then and you that's, shame spiral. Yeah, and then that's where you know I come yeah. off as maybe grumpy or whatever. It has nothing to do with anybody else or anything else. It's just projected, ready to kill myself. Oh, geez. not like you know, yeah. not not literally, but you know, it's like, oh, God. Why do I keep doing that? I have a Twitter account that I look at like once every couple weeks. <laughs> and when I am looking at it, I realize this is putting me in a terrible mood. Yeah, so you got to <laughs> stop so it. So I think maybe you should take, I don't know, take a three-hour break from yeah. Twitter during the day, you know? Oh, there, I'm not on, believe it or not, I really am not on Twitter or on my phone all that much. Okay. I'm really not. Someone says, just beat off, bro. Hey. Now, Greg, this is what we do. Greg, Greg. Greg, now we ask Woody. Okay, give me, uh, give me your phone. Give me your phone. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, see, that's good. Yeah, you can. It's your screen time. Let's get one of those pouches. Yeah, yeah no problem. <laughs> A pouch. Yeah, and it'll, yeah, it'll show you, like, you know. All right, so what's your screen time? Most of my stuff is, like, uh, the iHeartRadio app, to be honest with you. Oh, okay. Let's yeah. see it. I will. Maybe Maybe that's angering you. And then, uh, <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Coming up next, so um, maybe that's the root. <laughs> yeah. Here, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll, uh, three hours. Oh, uh, that's not bad. No. And a lot of that, I would say an hour plus of that every day is, uh, right before I'm looking for stories for the show the next day before I send a bunch of stuff three to Greg. Three outrageous, yeah. I guess. Yeah. It's yeah. going through a bunch of new stuff. Um, one hour and 47 minutes. An hour and 47. <laughs> hour and 45 yeah. is playing those slots. <laughs> I looked up, uh, we we're looking up the screen time for how much yeah. time we're spending yeah. on our phone and four hours. Stuff like that, yeah. I'm at three hours. There's four hours? Yeah. Damn, girl. Whoa, Whoa. Ray. I wouldn't have guessed that. I'm like following sports all day, all yeah. night. Yeah. Yeah, you I'm, doing that I'm at three hours and 54 minutes. You should be proud. Wow. It used yeah, to be minutes. like six and a half. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, but I, I turned off all the notifications. Yeah, I'm at two and a half hours. Two and a half hours. Yeah. yeah.